Welcome all. In this video we continue to use CSV files with Python. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get coding. Okay, so this is where we got to in the last video where we read the data from an Excel spreadsheet file and we printed it to the screen. Um, in this task we're going to write, create a new spreadsheet, create a new CSV file and write to that file and we will take a user input and write to that file. So I will comment this out, which is what I did in the last video, and then I'll add a note for five tasks. So the first thing at the top here is just importing that CSV file. Um, I'm just adding some comments here, so uh, this is what we're going to do, how to uh, ask a user how many activities they want to add to the file, um, open and create the file, write the column headers, for example, uh, activity ID, activity type, uh, etc. And then we're going to have a look at getting the user to type in an input, such as windsurfing or skiing, and then adding that to the spreadsheet. The last thing we'll do is create a loop so we can ask the user however many times they want for that data. Okay, so um, start with import CSV. And last time we were reading the file, so we used the uh, R method for read. This time we're going to write the file. Um, I will copy this line and I'm going to create a new file. I'll call this uh, activities version three. And then here I'm going to do uh, R plus, uh, W plus, sorry. So W plus is to write to the file. And then I'm going to, uh, I've opened that as file. And then if I say, for example, my file, so here I'm just creating a variable, uh, equals uh, CSV, and this time a writer. So writer. And then what am I going to use? I'm going to use file here, which will either be created or overwritten. So at the moment, the write will overwrite or create and write a file. If you want to append to a file, we'll do that in the next video and obviously we'll change this method here. The first thing I'll do is, um, so I've opened the file now, the first thing I'll do is I'll write the column headers. So for example, activity ID, activity type, etc., etc. So here I can just do um, my file and then dot write row. And then what do I want in that row? So brackets, square brackets. And then here I can simply put those column headers. So uh, ID, then I will just copy and paste to speed this up. So there we have the column headers. Um, if I run this program now, hopefully this will work and it will just create this file with the column headers. This is good that we've got no errors in the shell here. So hopefully if I go to Excel and uh, open a file. Okay, so that seems to have worked. We now have the column headers here um, and Python has created a new CSV file called activities version three. Now what I want to do is ask the user for some details so we can populate these with some details. Um, so I can simply ask the question. So for example, uh, activity ID uh, equals input and then give the user an input message. Please enter the activity ID. And then I can duplicate this for the other columns. So I will just copy and paste to speed this up. So I'm now asking for the activity, asking for the level uh, and asking for the description. The next thing I need to do is write these to the file. So my file, um, again, uh, write row, write row. And then what do I want to put in that row? Um, curly bracket, square bracket, and then in this case, activity ID followed by activity, description, and level. Okay, if I have not made any errors, then we can run this and test to see if it works. Okay, so please enter the activity ID. Let's do 101. Windsurfing, description, I don't know, big waves again. 
and oops hard okay spell wrong but no problem so no errors so hopefully if I refresh this if I close this one and reopen it then we will have that new data written to it uh, don't save okay so here we have and the new data is written to that so that's looking good so lastly I just want to add a question for the user to how many records they want to add and then let them do that so I can add another user input so I can say something like number of activities have I spelled that right yes equals this I will need to make an integer because it's going to be a number um, input and then let's give a prompt so please enter how many how many activities you want and then I can create a loop so I can do for I um, oops I missed a bracket there that's why that indent is incorrect so I can do for I in in range of the number of activities and then I can do all of this inside that um, so however many activities they choose it will ask them a question and each time it will write the row so let's just see how this works if we run this um, how many activities do you want two um, let's say I want 101 this doesn't matter because it's going to rewrite the file anyway so it'll write over the data that's already in there um, yeah windsurfing again and uh, description big wave uh, hard okay now it's asking me for another activity so let's say 102 skiing uh, downhill and let's say easy okay if I reopen this Excel file again okay great so I now have the new file and it has the correct details in there looking good um, the only thing I'm going to add to this I'm going to make these questions a little bit neater by just um, appending them with how many times the question's been asked so what I can do here I can say um, print for example um, the um, activity number um, so I can do activity and then I can do plus the string of i plus one so what I'm doing here the first time it loops I will be worth zero so that i plus one is one um, and then I can say plus and if I put a colon here and a space before that um, I will just test that one and then I can copy and paste for the others um, how many activities do you want two okay so that's cool that's saying activity one please enter the activity so I can just drop out of this if I copy this and then paste into the others it just makes my program a little bit neater um, a little bit more user friendly and if I do the same with these then that should look cool and then I will just run the program once more okay so how many activities do you want to uh, 101 oh. windsurfing and what did we say big wave and hard okay activity 2 this is looking great so uh, 102 skiing and downhill and then um, easy okay so cool that's just rewritten this same file so I'm not going to bother opening it but we've now taken a user input and we've uh, added that created a new file or overwritten an existing CSV file uh, in the next video we'll have a look at appending so adding to the end of a CSV file I hope you found this video useful why not check out the next for more methods of using CSV with Python